the title of this video, our dollar has lost 96% since the Federal Reserve has taken charge almost a century ago. Am I supposed to believe that that is the actual number? Hello, my name is Derek. It is the 28th of September, 2009. Hope everyone is doing magnificent and quite frankly, I've heard a lot of people say, oh, the dollar's doing poor because it has lost 96%. You look at this article here. This article even tells us it's lost 96%, but the kicker was, this was written two years ago. Two years ago, this was written, and am I supposed to believe that in the last 700 days or so, with all the bailout money that has been done, with all of the extra printing that has been done from Ben Bernanke's printing press, that we've only lost 96%? Sure, maybe we had lost 96 back in 2007 or 2004. I mean, it's really hard to trust these government numbers. The government says that the 2007, it would have lost 95.23% according to the government numbers from 2007 and it's beginning in 1913. So they even would have said that they have lost that. And... The government is not being known for just changing the numbers a little bit, sort of like our unemployment, just a shade under 10% because they do a little bit of factors to change the numbers, if you will. I mean, mark to market accounting. There is another example there. And to think they're not doing this with inflation, to me, the odds would say that they have, in my opinion. Shadow Stats says that it's a dollar fifty. Our dollar, or the hundred dollars today, is worth a dollar fifty back then. That would be ninety-eight and a half percent. So is that the number that it has lost? Maybe it's not quite as high as that. Maybe it's seven ninety-seven and a half. I don't really know, but I do got to think that it is above 96%. And keep doing what you're doing. Keep printing money. Keep bailing out all of these too big to fails. Then maybe we can get this baby at 99.9%. .9 because how far can it go? The Federal Reserve, they are nothing more than just a monopoly, a monopoly creating the money supply. They can create it at will as much as they want, but heaven forbids, if myself or any of you decide, you know what, I wanna print my own money, you can be assured that they will find you and they will put you in jail for a decent amount of time, as they would call that fraud. Now, to me, this seems like a major problem because if we were on like a gold or a silver standard, then maybe we could pay off interest by producing more liquidity. But we can't produce the liquidity. And it's, it's, it's going too far. But thankfully, we are seeing the HR 1207 to audit the Fed and hopefully after that, we can end the Fed, the Fed. We are seeing a lot more government officials supporting Ron Paul, supporting the bill, and quite frankly, that is a positive sign. And quite frankly, we need it right now. So if we can get more and more people to support the bill, if you haven't called your congressmen yet, your senators, let them know your voice. Let them know the concern that you have for the Federal Reserve, because we can get progress done. I mean, obviously, it's been a secret organization, and we've even heard Ben Bernanke even say, oh, we can't tell you that. I mean, is this the type of world we want to live in, in a secretive organization where they have all their meetings behind closed doors? And who knows what type of 
stuff that they are doing behind the scenes because it wouldn't surprise me if there is a heck of a lot more, in my opinion anyway. So I'm going to end this video at that. We need to do a lot more, but we are on the right path. I do not like to have a world where they can create the money as much as they want, bail out the too big to fails, and I guess they have the model, the too small to, su to succeed, because that has been the problem with our world today. Central bankers, the system is fraudulent. It's not just the Federal Reserve. It's pretty much every central bank that there is doing the same sort of things. Thank you all for watching. Peace and light, and have yourself a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.